Yo, 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 finally and forever. Episode 23, Michael Jordan, you already know. Two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. It's, Jordan. it's Kelsko God. Say! You already know, man, you already know. You know, long, long, long time, long time, my brother, good yeah, to see man. you. I'm good digging to the see threads, you, brother. bro, long live the ruler, bro. Shout out you know, to long you, live man. the ruler, you know what I'm saying, Draco, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yo, let's get into it, man. Let's get into it immediately. Go ahead. You just came back from where? Buffalo, New York. Right, oh, so the whole New York City. Oh, East, man, New York. Yeah, just, Jersey, just let me know. Buffalo, just let me know about the up top vibes, Denver. man. Let me know. Let me know what happened. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Buffalo was that was my first time in Buffalo. That shit was lit. Yeah? She was lit. Shout out to West Side Gun, yo. You know what I mean? One of my favorite rappers. Shout out to you know, the whole uh, Griselda. Yeah, shout out to uh the boy Fat Joe. Shout out to Pistol Pete. Ooh. Shout out to making that happen for them boys. Booking. So you was out there church squatting, like you know what I mean, in Buffalo? Man, certified. How'd you like Buffalo? It was dope. I ain't gonna lie, they show love. Yeah? Yeah, it was a good audience, good crowd, good people, good energy. Like, it was nothing like New York City. Mm, oh, yeah, I mean, I can imagine, bro. Like, you over there, damn near by Canada, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, like, Falls. like, I had to really, like, you see how, like, niggas It's like a country like, in New York, bro. Right? Yeah, nigga, you took the words right out of my mouth, because I was uh -huh. like, bro, I was like, bro, it's like Jacksonville in comparison to Miami. Like, mm. the, the distance, the way how it's set up. It's like, yeah, it's Florida, but it's so different yeah. from, like, South Florida. Facts, facts. You feel me? So, like, Buffalo is that. It's like... like the yeah, accent that, is different. Man, the, the way they right? dress, everything, yeah. dog. They don't... They, they, that's crazy. I've never been up top, man. Like, like they yeah, don't I've even call it... New York they, City. they be like, that's upstate. They don't even be like... Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I, I, yeah, I, like Rochester, <laughs> Syracuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Yo, New York, crazy. like, you know, people don't know that New York State is gigantic, bro. Yeah, man. Like, it's, it's, you know, it's huge. You know, borders... You know what I'm saying? You got Pennsylvania on one side. Then on the other side, you got Connecticut, and I think um, Vermont, your borders, New York State also. And then on top, you got Canada, obviously, you know what I mean? Yo, right next to Buffalo, yo, like, that's crazy, because it's that's like... That's wild, right? Yes, sir. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got Toronto right there, so it's like, you know what I mean? Like, they got the whole... It's different, like, it's di I can imagine it's a different vibe. That's why, yo, when I hear Westside and, and Benny and Conway, you know, I can hear the New York in it, but it's like country New York. And I don't mean that as a diss. I I, lo I love it because it's different. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. You can tell like they New York, but you, you know it's a different type of would style. You, would you say it's kind of like how Fifty was rapping, like he was a New York nigga with like a southern like draw, not a draw, but like a southern twang slang kind, vibe. Kind of, yeah. Because like, but the thing is too, like like at least with West Side, you know, he spent a lot of time down south, like in Alabama and Georgia. Oh, so you know, I'm not saying that that influences the way he talks, but I'm just saying that. He has more the, leeway the, for this. Yeah. Uh, for, for from that. Because, bro, it's like you. It's like you, you've you been up top. You mess with dudes from New York. You know what I'm saying? You've been to California. You know what I mean? You met my homies out there. And it's like, so you kind of understand the vibe. You grew up in Miami. So you, you're you you're the type of artist that can pull from a lot of resources. That's, that's true. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not the way you talk, but your life experiences. You've been to Europe. You know what I mean? You just came back from Dior. So, like, you're very well traveled. You know what I mean? So it's like your pen game automatically is going to be more vicious because if you're already nasty as it is with the experiences that you get in life, you know what I mean? It just feeds the pen, yo. Oh, like, that's a fact, bro, you know, because that's life, 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 life imitates art, art imitates life. So if you got shit to, like, like really pull from, like, shit, you'll never run out of shit to write about because you're constantly experiencing new shit. Mm. Even if you're not, you, you motherfuckers... I believe y'all out there. Y'all niggas is, and, and women are scared to travel. Hey, yo, like, scared to fly. Fly. Like, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. If y'all scared to fly, uh, fi find a way to, like, travel. Because yeah. it's, it's, like, it's a necessity to experience some shit, even if it's just in the same state. Because look at that. Mm. Somebody from the Bronx should go to Buffalo if they never really, you know, have that bread to go out the country cool but go six hours away from what you used to and just see how somebody else community activates yo that's a, yo that's a beautiful thing you just said because i've been to jacksonville before and it's totally different from miami yes, it's sir. like literally like taking a, a, a trip outside of the country not outside of the country but, it's just country but it's shit. different and it's, it's very different and it's like, and i feel like it's a real florida it's, it's a, you it's, know what i mean it's like like, no, it's country. It's like, but people think that as a diss. It's not a diss, bro. Country is beautiful. Right. It's just a, it's just a, a matter of expression. Like, you're not as city as other people, but being more city doesn't mean you're Less more gangster or yeah. more better, like, at to all. To be honest, y'all, y'all really, right now, like, yo, yo, get it cracking. Bro, all this, uh, bro, look at, look at, shout out to Boss Mandilo, bro. He's from, like, I forgot, like, he's over there by, like, um, by Jupiter. 
Yo, I, like I, towards like um Port St. Lucie and so all that. Boy from the crib, bro. Yeah, boss man dealers from Florida, like straight up. He's from a little like a little town over there. So that's that's the thing to say. Like nobody even talks about his side of town. And he's definitely like one of the hottest Florida rappers out right now. You see that? A style totally like yo, shout out to boy man. I've been I've been I've been playing his music lately, bro. Like boss man Dilo is fire. What it took you to start tapping in with that? Yo, thing? TikTok. That's what made you tap, bro. In? Like I kept hearing like people like what, what was that? Well, because I love the way he talks, bro. He's like he's like he's like he's like seven fifty on the Joe. They do it and like you know. What I'm like, I'm bad if I'm chopping up your words, fam, but, nah, but bro, I love his style. Good. Like, the way he talks is different. Like, you know how Broward dudes talk different in Miami? Mm -hmm. But it's, it's it's kind of the same, but it's a little similar, bit different, right? But they got the, it's, it's like how they like dogs. It's like, yo, like, Miami niggas will ride low, <coughs> and dogs will ride high in Broward. It's, yo, they still don't. Cuz is literally like two hours away, not even. Nah, not even. Like an hour and a half, maybe. Like, past Jupiter. Like, you know what I mean? And, bro, the way he talks is like, you could think like he's from Alabama, like uh -huh. you know what I mean. Like you wouldn't even, you didn't even know he was from Florida. I didn't uh -huh. know he was from Florida. I didn't know. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I was I, like, well, when he was from Florida, I was no happy cap. as fuck. I was like, oh no, shit! No, no bro, he's putting it on. He's putting on Alabama. big time for Florida. I'd even said South Carolina, nigga. I had never. Yo, he's definitely like, he's definitely one of the top uh, like rappers right now. Yeah, he got, like, he got like, bro, he got like, like ain't nobody more lit than TikTok right as far as a new artist. I feel like nobody's more lit in TikTok than him. Let me ask you. You think he's, radio he, is officially following TikTok now? Oh, bro. I think TikTok right now is the top platform that breaks artists. So, I feel like, so you think like that, Instagram is dead when it comes... And that's how they get the radio hit? Like, bro, like, if you're a new artist, yeah. if you're not pumping your TikTok, it's a wrap. Like, TikTok is the wave. You're Because, yo, Instagram, you got to compete with so many people. It's a more established platform. And the algorithm, let's keep it real, bro. Like nowadays, the algorithm sucks because they're pushing more for you to buy that verified badge so you can get more exposure. TikTok ain't on that shit right now. TikTok is basically you you promote through TikTok. They they don't care if you verified or not. Your shit's gonna go. Mm -hmm. Yo, look at that demure shit that everybody's talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's like it's literally like, like somebody making a convo in their car and they're having like 45 million views. That shit does not happen on Instagram, yo, at all. Mm. Never. Like, so your chances of blowing up on TikTok are 10 times better than Instagram. Okay. So if you're a new artist, it's a wrap, bro. Because if if, if all, all it takes is somebody to grab a 5 to 10 second sample of your shit, like, like the, the catchiest part of the song, or like a right. wild verse that you did, you're right? you know what I mean? And think about it, like, they'll be doing some, it's not even dancing no more. Like they'll be like doing skits and shit. That, yeah, it's like you know what I mean. Bad it's like, he's like, 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 like you know they be doing like he's like pocket full of he's like he's like pocket full of bull he's like pocket full of blues. That's it. He's, I got the, he's the other pocket full of pink fetish. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like even shit like that. Like you know somebody could do anything. Like anything. they could do it. They could have gone out buy a new car. They're like yep. you know pocket full of blues. Like think about it. Yep. They're, you know whatever you say can go. So you telling me right now if if you breaking a new artist. If you had to pick the top three platforms, it's TikTok and what would be the other two? TikTok for show, Instagram, obviously. And then I ain't gonna lie, bro, Snapchat. Damn. Snapchat so, is let me ask you. For, for the young crowd. Like Snapchat this Snapchat is, is still a thing? Yeah, bro. Snapchat. So is, let me add what about people YouTube? People making dough off of Snapchat. What about YouTube or SoundCloud? The thing is, bro, that's big dog. That's like, yeah. yo, I wanna play in the NBA finals. Yeah, of course. That's the goal, but for you to grind and it's easier on the pocket and easier for you. Yeah. The uh, top one is TikTok. Do you think more people are on on YouTube or TikTok? TikTok. People, you think more people are on? Bro, TikTok is the, the the number one of everything, bro. To knowledge, yo, tick, yo, TikTok shop. My mother oh, yeah, buys yeah, off a of TikTok yeah, shop, yo. <laughs> you crazy? Like you know what I'm saying? Like when your mother's that's buying crazy. shit from TikTok shop. Yeah, that's real. It, it, bro, it's power. It's like yo, I could go to Amazon, but I'm already on TikTok and I can buy. Think about it, bro. Like shit. if you go hot, merch, merch right yeah, there, baby. Yeah. Fain hats, fain boom boom. TikTok shop, and it's so easy. It's like press a button, boom, the order page goes up. Send me your fucking joint, like you know what I mean? Boom, ship out in the mail, drop ship. It's yeah. it's it's over. Like you know, Instagram you're still right, like you gotta go. Link in bio, and then like you know, you gotta go in the link in the profile. Then you know the other link and shit. Like it's still a thing, but I say most, way more people buy off of TikTok than Instagram because it's even easier. It's way easier, bro. And it's just got us, bro. It's got, I, it's just got way more million people than over there. And the thing is, is like 
you put out your content and depending on the hashtags that you use and what the content is about, think about it, bro. Like you got people in China, Hong Kong, Thailand, because, you know, think about it, it's a Chinese platform. Well, the dude say he's from, yeah, like, I know, I know. you know, he's not Chinese, but whatever. It's an Asian, Asian platform <laughs> and Asians got the numbers. Yep. So if they love your shit, boom, you're out of here. They say that's how Timu or Timu got popping because it's yeah, an Asian platform. Yeah, bro. All this weird. bro if, you, if any Asian country picks you up, like think about it, how um uh, what, what China Mac is doing right now. He's living in, I've been watching some of his joints. He's uh, he's living in, in um, Vietnam right now. Bro, and Vietnam is crazy, bro. Like you would think about, like think about it. That's, that's one thing I'm going back to what you were saying about traveling. In your mind, you're like Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Vietnam. Like what, what the fuck am I going to do over there, bro? You'll be surprised. Yeah, you see. Like, bro, like Taiwan. I got it. That's why. Bro, I Taiwan is baller. Like, I've been watching joints. Like, they go to, uh, I think it's called Taipei, like the, the city. Ooh, Dog. Cool. I'm talking about, like, four seasons, like, five-star restaurants. Like, whole bro, it's, it's like, yo, you got to have dough. Like, it ain't no thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for example, Thailand, for the Passport Bros, is the cheapest country you can go to. Get it just costs a lot of here. money to get there. Cause you know, think about it, bro. It's, it's you know, Thailand. So it's probably like a, like a sixteen hour Jeez. finagling to get there. Think about it, cause you know, you gotta fly damn near to China. But they, but they say once you get there, oh, it's over, dog. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Twenty dollars US gets you a lot. Yo, forget, yo. You yo, think Colombia's cheap? Nah, bro. Thailand. I heard that shit is crazy cheap. Nice. Like crazy. The hotels, the food, the. Extracurricular activities, the everything, fam. Like they're going crazy over there. You know what I mean? They're they're like they're like Colombia on steroids. Yikes! You know what I mean? It just again. But do Thailand women even look good? I don't know. Oh, even, bro. I mean, bro, they I got. Lie, think I about it, bro. Good. They make so much money. You know, they got them surgeries cracking. Like mm. they, yeah, they gonna look good for sure. The whole thing is that, at least for me, in my opinion, what stops me. Number is one is, is it, yeah, flight. bro. That, that, that's the number one. Because even if I even if I buy a first class ticket, if I spend like you know five bands, so I can be super comfy, right? It's still, bro. I can't do it. Like that's just insane. Twelve hours. I did it again. If I'm like, yo, if YouTube gets cracking for me like that, I, I for sure I want to travel the world, vlog it. You know what I mean? You see me everywhere. Like you know I ain't what I mean? Lie, bro, that's fit. I'm going to um. Austria. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, good. That was 15 or 14 hours. But that was straight? No. Like, you got to do, like... 12 was straight. Oof, even 12. that, bro. It was like a one-hour layover nah. with a one to, to the two, and then, and then bomb, another five bro, hours. 12. I was like, oh, okay, y'all niggas got this. Uh, bro, so why you fly but, from, like, New York to London or some shit? Um, no, 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 no. Turkey. No, no, no. Damn, that Turkey. was Turkey Air. No, 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 oh. no, no. That was the airline. Oh, Turkey okay, Air okay. was the airline. We flew from down here. Damn, where did we go before? It was a small stop, and then we took off. Yeah, because you know, I don't but, think you can go from Miami to, like, Europe. Yeah, no, I just don't remember. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember it being New York. I, I think you can. But the um, point is, is, like, it was a solid 12 hours, and the only reason I was able to do it, because, obviously, I had the opportunity to perform and yeah, all of that yeah. good shit. But, nah, but still, yeah, yo. I took, I took so, that was the same week we was at with Khaled at Live. Mm. This was um Pistol was down here with, with Emma and all of the KR niggas. So they was down here for like 10 days. Oh, I was so there, was bro. I didn't sleep, <laughs> nigga. I did not sleep. Yeah, back you got to back, airport, south, like, ah. south, south, south. Bro, I yeah, instantly yeah, yeah. I knew that this was the I, once I was like, oh, this is the 12 hour. Bro, my body, I slept for 10 hours. Damn. I slept that, for 10 but that's but that's hours, a secret bro. though. I think if you knock out most of the of the of the flight, then you're good. Yeah, because then you gotta let's say you gotta just you know handle five hours. All right, whatever. You yeah, know, right. It's better than than twelve bro, up. So, like, uh. bro, I was so happy that I because I took a little PM pill. I took a little muscle relaxer. Oh, I added. Oh, shit. I added to kombucha the kombucha coating, <laughs> nigga. You know what I'm saying? Kombucha <laughs> coating. <laughs> Oh shit! Yo, you you know what I mean? Probiotics <laughs> and Percocets. Yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> Yo, you know what I mean? So I added to the tiredness because I knew that this twelve hours was real. Yeah. So going there, nigga, that shit was a breeze. Coming back was hell. No, nah, I can't. Yeah, because you know the flight back always is the bullshit because the trip is over. 
Yeah. And I was back to it's like back to reality. Yeah, and it's like I'm and not in like, a Fuck. rush. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Like, like you're on a plane and then everything sucks, right? Like now I gotta get out, I gotta go through immigration, my bag. Like when you go in, you're like, woo! Yeah. And if you gotta wait, you're like, nah, 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 I'm gonna I'm lit. Yeah, you're like, oh, it's in the land of fire. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait till we get there. You're like, you know, you bopping, like you're like, oh yeah, everything's so oh, everything is fire. But, but, you're like seventeen dollars for a cause I don't know, let's go. <laughs> yo, seven dollar water, let's go. Yo, the way back, you're like, yo, you ain't got a water fountain? Like, come on, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? What type of service is this? What do you mean I don't get caviar? Yeah, what is some mean? bullshit? <laughs> Like you, on the way there, you don't give a fuck if they give you peanuts and water. You're like, ah, I'm good. On the oh, way back, shit. that's when you like, damn, dog. That <laughs> cost me seven G's, bro. Like, you better put some hot towels on my nuts. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need some service in this bitch. Yeah, stuff. like, yo, you're like, hey, bro. Uh, <laughs> like, yo, what's up? You call these salty nuts? Pause. I didn't even want this shit. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, what, do you, what do you got for lunch yo, in here? Yo, the accuracy behind what the fuck Everything you makes said. you mad, yo. Because you're like, bro, why the yo, fuck and, I'm yo, doing immigration is bullshit. Stay. When you're coming back, the oh, immigration man. dude is like, reason for your trip. Oh, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I was out there fucking whores and shit, like, getting crazy, bro. All kinds of drugs, bro. Like, what do you want me to say? Obviously, I'm going to be like, yes, sir, I'm out there taking pictures of the Mona Lisa. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, no more. Like, do, 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 do. like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm innocent. Like, I have nothing in my bag, sir. Yeah, not like, you know what I mean? Like, you put, like, your long sleeve shirt, no tattoos. Yo. Like, that, like, you're like, you're like, you're like, you know, welcome oh to it. They're like, your English is perfect. <laughs> like, they're like, yo, like, where were yo. you? Like, yo, I was seven days in Vienna, sir. Mm. Yeah, it's a fact, yo. That's how you got to be, man. Bro, the accuracy. My nigga, bro, last yes. time, that's what I'm saying. Like, last time I went from Colombia, bro, they like, they did like, you've been randomly selected to get searched for cocaine. I was like, damn, bro, I don't have shit. Like, nigga, come, yeah, they bro. did that to me. All, In front what? of all the passengers, they're like, take off your shoes. Oh, and you're like, like, damn, bro. Like, yeah, it's just mad and bad. Yeah, because everybody put, yeah, put me to the side when they did Yeah, but the, uh, yeah, it's like, it's like a paper thin, like, Bro, it's like some cardboard. <laughs> like, you're in the motherfucking back door. They're looking at you like, yeah, yeah, bro. Bro, they really played you? Yeah. No, I like four of us. Like, you know oh, what I mean? Fuck, but all that bro. random shit. It's That's like, they pick like, they pick like three thugs and like, and like a, and like a 90 year old lady just to make it seem like it's random. And the lady, they're like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, bitch. Like, <laughs> you know, my bad. I had to do this, but we really want these thugs. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, that's and then when they don't up. find out, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yo, yo, uh, you know, I th thank you for your, like, you know, cooperation. Bro, and damn, then when you get nigga, back, that's crazy. When you get back and you see the U.S., I don't know if they put that shit in the system, like, yo, we've been checked this nigga and, like, you know, whatever. <laughs> so when you get back, I don't give a fuck. What story you say? Oh, I was out there saving children, sir. I was feeding the homeless. They're like, oh, yeah, that's nice. Boom, to the room, bro. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, spread that ass, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Bend down and cough. Let's see what you got. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they come with the ruthlessness, yo. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the, yo, yo, so how many hours did yo, it take stop. you? You know what I mean? You're like, bro, I don't yo, remember all this, this shit. This is crazy. Bro, it got to the point where I'm like, yo, oh, man, man, like, just open up the bag and check for the drugs already. Like, bro. you know, think about it. Like, when they hear something like bro. that, if you really had drugs, you wouldn't be like that. So they're like, oh, all right, you know what I mean? I was like, yeah, the coke's under the seat. Like, you know what I mean? Stop. You, yo, yo, I was like that. I was like, uh, as soon as I got to that, like, I was, I was pissed, yo. Yo, he was mad as fuck. Yeah, because they already, like, done embarrassed me over there. So when I got here to um, Fort Lauderdale, which Fort Lauderdale Airport, caca, you know what I mean? Damn. Um, So, so I, yo, they, they had me. I, now you got to wait. Think about it. You took the flight. Yeah. You're out. Now yeah. they got to extra screen you. So now you made the line for all immigration. Now you're in another room. Everybody else is picking up the bags and going home. Now you're in there, like, you know what I mean? And, and niggas looking at you like, oh, yeah. Like, with the glove and shit, like, <laughs> what you got, champ? And you're like, dog, like, think about it, bro. If I really had these drugs, bro, I'd be shitting myself. I'd be sweating. I'd be like, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yo, but if I'm there, like, like bad and shit, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, hey, champ, like, let's go. Man, you know I ain't got shit nothing, bro. I got to have the balls really of steel, bro. I have, like, a two bricks. I'm talking think about, about it. If you had two nigga. bricks in there, and they got a dime a dime, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, if you got it right there, think about it. You wouldn't be like. Yeah, yeah, bro. If you could just hurry up and <laughs> some drugs, you know, baby got to eat, bro. I got to catch a Uber. Like, come on, let's check for this cocaine. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you were an immigration officer or TSA, you'd be like, oh, no, this this dude is savage. This is, nigga, because if you did have it, oh, bro, you'd be cold hearted like, I'm, like, I, right, yo. You're like asking. It's like, oh, you must have wanted it. If you had, if, if you had, if you had 35 here, to life in your bag and you're acting like, yo, bro, if you could just search for this bricks so I could go on with my shit. 
Nah, bro. Like, bro. like to call that bluff, you're, you're a savage. So think about it, bro. In, in reality world, in the life that we live, think about it. They would have a story. They try to act as less nervous as possible. They definitely wouldn't mention anything regarding drugs. You know what I mean? They'll have a story. They'll try to, you know, finesse it. Because it's your life on the line. All it takes is that one zip of the go, and they're like, oh, ho, ho. That's it. That's it. It's over. Bye. Yeah, bro. Federal charge. So think about it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's never on the way there yeah. that you trip. Yeah, because even with me, I'm on probation, and they, I felt like, obviously, I kind of knew it was oh, going to no, happen. That's a fact. Did they check you for real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nigga. That's yeah, because that shit shows up, right? Nigga, as soon as you come back, they're, they're like, oh, probation. They're like, oh. start acting like, come on, know why we're talking. They, yeah, nigga. Like, yo, do you have a piece of, yeah, I got all of that. Like, I didn't even ask them for shit. I waited because I'm like, yo, y'all being vague. Y'all being dicks. I'm with my girl. And she's like, you know, she got cleared. So I'm like, you know, they even searched her shit, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine, bro. Like, so you know they was mean? like, nah, we got to both But, bro, for shit. you to be able to leave the country on probation. Oh, I had I, to go through little loops. I ain't going to lie. That's crazy, bro. They ain't loops. let me do that shit. Because my shit, I had to, like, um, so I'm on supervision so from Miami. I'm, my shit is in Georgia. I had to ask this probation, get this permit. They got to go to the judge. Make oh, sure yeah, the judge yeah, yeah. They gotta, yeah they got to. And before all of that, I got to have my shit ready so my shit could get denied. So let's say I, the thing is, I have to buy my flight. Oh. I have to buy my hotel. I have to let them know the location. And hope. Submit that. Yeah, and pray to oh. God. Boy, pray to the Lord. And then my probation officer, she was dragging ass. Yeah, like, of course. Bro, she took they a don't give a fuck. Time, they don't want you to have a bro. good time. They're like, nah, bro, boy. I, I ain't gonna lie. Look at this shit. God, two, two minutes before. Yo, nigga, yeah, I that's... swear she did it like a, like two days before, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank God, whatever. She's bullets nigga. over there, like, fuck, am I gonna fly or not? And I'm like, yo, flight this book, flight back book, hotel oh, yeah, book, yeah. this book. And yeah, bro, it went yeah, through. I was crucial. excited, nigga. I was, and I brought my little permit papers to show that hey, yeah, I could leave this. Yeah, 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 you feel yeah, me? Because yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that shit crazy. Like, yeah, because coming back is the bitch. Like, they don't, they, they don't give a fuck when you're leaving. Yo, but they might on probation though. Yo, like, you, you know what's funny? I, mean? I love this topic because it's if we talking about coming back out the country and the and the like feeling you get from like going somewhere you love and then have to come back and then the struggles and the fact that we both got checked this year with that bullshit and it's 23 it's like coming back jordan this is the jordan yeah. episode this is the, the flu game bro the flu game <laughs> niggas is god damn bro niggas did it like, god damn oh, oh, yeah <laughs> damn bro yeah, no, i got no. a, i got a, i got a flight too like coming up and shit and i'm Word. like you know what i'm saying where you headed where you headed mexico oh mexico they don't fuck with me like mexico shit that much it's colombia that fucks you bro like, the, yeah man like every See, time i haven't you, traveled you, as much when you come back they're like <laughs> oh, you from Medellin? <laughs> what the fuck? And you then think? they look at you. And think about it, like, I used to put like you know like I, they, they, you got to put your profession. I, I used to put like you know uh um you know music like producer, and bro like that was that, the worst that, that you could do. No, nah, actually it was it good helped. because before I would put like um like anything like like uh you know like uh entrepreneur or some shit like that, and they're like yeah, bro. They ask you all kinds of wild shit. Like with the with the music shit, I'm like, yeah, 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 put me up on on YouTube. And then like when they put me up on YouTube or Instagram and shit, they're like, oh, yeah, for sure, really, yeah. And I and I got a, I got a lot of cool like young TSA dudes, and they're like, oh, you you make beats, like you rap and shit, like and they they dope about it. I yeah, had a chick one time, okay. she was cool, like like she didn't even open up my bags, like she was like, yo, bro, like you know they do this shit to everybody. Like I'm like, oh damn, that's oh, fire, that's dope. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna lie, not every bro. TSA person is a dick. Nah, like, man. like at least the dudes in the back that um that check you and shit for real. Yeah. Like I had some cool ones and shit. Nah, but your energy is like you you you, you know how to talk to people and yeah, you, and you cool to talk to anybody. You don't. Nah, because yeah. like yo, if you ain't got nothing to hide, bro, like I'm like yeah, but I'm still, trying to get even this shit if you over do with. got some shit that you don't got, you never got nothing to hide. Even if you got yeah. some shit that you supposed to hide, because you keep your shit so thorough. Yeah, yeah, you got. Well, yeah, you you kind of get used to it, like you know what I mean. You know, that's that whole getting pulled over, working the car. Um, you know, theatrical fucking shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You learn it a lot through those days, you, you, you know? You know shit, you know shit. But, but airports is just a more crazy situation, bro. This yeah, ain't like yeah. a car in the highway where you're like, oh, I can run, I can dip. In the airport, bro, you fucked. Like, they yeah. ain't nowhere to go. That's a fact. Like, you know what I mean? Out there, they, that's it. So let me ask you, I want to segue a little bit, only because I'm a little late to the party. So I figured there's some people like me that's late to the party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I didn't get to see the whole 
Black Sam podcast. Oh, yeah. Bro. You know, Rico uh, is the one that told me about it. We all shout yeah. out to okay, Jericho, I love you, bro. Like, phone. you know what I'm saying? So Rico hit me up, and he was like, boom, he sent me the link. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, boom, boom, boom. So I started watching the shit. And, uh, yo, first of all, Big Boy did a great interview. I feel like Big Big Boy um, did his thing, yo. Shout out to Big Boy, bro. It's crazy because I was talking to Rico because I'm like, like you know, you you know you old and you from California. If you remember when Big Boy was fat, yeah. Damn, I get some older shit. I because ain't from California. Big Boy, but I remember Big Boy was that nigga gigantic. Yo, I love you, Big Boy, but that like he got healthy big. as fuck. Yeah, bro. That so nigga like, went out. Rest in peace, pun. He, he could have went out like pun because that nigga bro, was. Bro, he was huge. big. I think he was bigger than like. He Maybe was that's just as big as fun, for sure. But he was big as yeah, fun. Yeah, for sure. But anyway, bro, he did a great job, man. I, I feel like, yo, the emotion behind, you know, Black Sam talking about his brother, you know, passing away. And and the way he gave him his fly was like, there was at one point in the interview that was dope. He was like, big boy asked Black Sam, he was like, so did you feel that sometimes it was little bro leading big bro? And he was like, yeah, for sure. Like, mm -hmm. he's like, yo, Nipsey was was another level like you know what i mean he was the genius behind a lot of things that we were doing so it was like the little brother teaching the big brother like you know what i mean and big and he you know a lot of a lot of and a lot of families being the big brother you always feel like your little your little siblings ain't better than you or you gotta lead yeah, but yeah. sometimes man when somebody's better than you bro you gotta fall back and be a soldier and i feel like that was a beautiful thing how he talked about his brother like, you know what I mean? The way that he was like, yo, bro, I was there. He was like, yo, I basically, he was like, yo, I was there as a supporting role. Like, you know, little bro got it. You know what I mean? He got the vision. I'm, I'm helping execute the plan. Damn. That was fire. Like, you know what I mean? The way that, you know, he talked about that. And then obviously the most controversial part of the interview was he basically said that the day that Nipsey passed, um, Sound about he would gotten a call, you know, about, you know, some shit going down. And he felt like he didn't go into much detail. For obvious reasons, but he he said, "Yo, I felt like my brother got set up. I felt like it wasn't just how people are portraying it, where you know what I'm saying, um, you know, cuz over there had a a verbal. It wasn't even an argument because even in the camera there was no argument. But he had a conversation. That conversation, whatever happened there, led homeboy to do what he did to Nip. You know what I mean? So he was putting this whole thing goes back to what Wack 100 was talking about, uh." This dude named Loose Cannon, who was basically saying that Nipsey had got put a hit on, like you know what I mean, he, like, like a, a hit was on him, like in in so many words, you know what I mean. He didn't use that specifically, but he was talking about like you know what I mean, like somebody somebody made a call about something happening in it before he even got shot. Yeah, that's what I heard. You know what I'm saying? That's and what Wack hunted, and I think Loose Cannon said that shit. And they, and they I don't want to name the individual that, know, you know, know what I mean, because I don't want to get into all that shit, but, but, I heard it but you, you can see it. It's online, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I just don't like to get yeah, into politics. So damn, but, so, but, but that's the part I don't get. So niggas pre-predicted some shit? I, that's the thing. How can you pre-predict, bro? Are we magicians out here? Or did you know, again, again all this is alleged, but it's kind of crazy how now Black Sam is saying kind of the same thing that this dude is saying on the, on the, on the, on the, on, the, on social media. And it's, YouTube. It's crazy, like, was this already a speculation when it first happened, or why the fuck is it coming out now? Is it because of the Black Sam interview, he, or was it already something? No, nah, I mean, I think because I, this interview happened, well, I don't know when the hell it happened, so let me not say bullshit, but that Loose Cannon and Wack 100 interview about the, the allegations that they were making of the information that they have yeah, on yeah, NIP correct. went very viral in, in the, the L.A. situation, right? So I'm sure Black Sam maybe saw that interview, and when it was his turn to say his piece, he kind of addressed it a little bit. Because he was like saying, all right, when, when um, you know what I'm saying, Eric Holder, you know, Shetty Cuz was talking to Nip, he, he didn't have a shirt on. Then when he left and put a red shirt on, he felt like that was a throw off to say, oh, you know, the people from the other side did it, you know what I mean? And, uh, mm. you know, it wasn't an internal situation. Again, man, like, that really doesn't make any sense in, in my eyes because, bro, like, it was in the parking lot with all 60s. They know all each other. So if I see you, I don't give a fuck what type of shirt you got on. If you ain't got a mask on, like, I'm like, dog, it's you. Like, you know what I'm saying? So anybody that survives, they're like, yo, who did it? They'll be like, bam, bam, bam. You're like, you know what I mean? Correct. So it wasn't no. It but again, I'm not going through what, what Black Sam is going through, bro. So, like, you know, I'm out there just spectating the interview. And um, it was really good, bro. Like, it was like. 
you know, besides the negative shit about it, like, he spoke on a lot of things that I know about Nib. Like, you know what I mean? As far as, like, his grind and what he really wanted to do and how, how much of a visionary he was in the, in the marketing of his business. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, again, it's like, I even talked to you about, like, you know, Long Live Draco. And it's not to get into, into the situation, but Nipsey, the music artist, and this is where I really side with WAC 100, is like, Nipsey as an artist, the argument is, is that was he really a legend when he was alive? You know what I'm saying? Some say yes, some say no. But if you really go about it, like, WAC 100 was saying that Nipsey didn't go gold, and then eventually, maybe he, I don't know if he went platinum yet, but it all happened after he died. If you look at the numbers, like, where was all these new fans when he was alive? Which, you know, I've talked to you off the camera. You know what I mean? And I, I don't and I don't think that Draco had numbers like a nip at, 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 I guess, at the peak of each career. But again, like I will say, like the influence musically, just music, of a Draco is way more powerful than the nip. Now, when it comes to business and running a, success, a, a successful brand. Brand, yeah, perfect. Then yeah, you you can't because Nip reach I think a global scale, where a Draco did not, you know what I'm saying? But again, like I bring it up because you think Nipsey the reason was more why universal and more like diverse and maybe but he played again the game more musically he he would never be a Draco like I've like I've told you before, bro. Nobody wants to rap like Nip. Nobody wants to like be on some Nip shit like meaning um style like. Again, I'm, you got to take away the music nip versus marathon, mu you know, business nip. You know what I mean? Draco never really started a business. Like, he wasn't, like, on no entrepreneurship like that. But musically, bro, nah, bro. Like, you think that he influenced um, the coast musically more than He was him? the most, in he's the most influential rapper you know in, in L.A. In LA since, like, a... Uh, Oh shit! That, damn, that's a good. I'm about to say some crazy shit, but think about it. Nah, nah, don't go ahead. Say it. I think he's the only rapper that I know that influenced other other rappers. Okay, you know what? Let me take that back. Besides YG, okay. Besides YG, I gotta give him his flowers. Besides YG, I think Drake was the only dude that really influenced new LA rappers to rap in a certain style. I think for a while when YG came out, there was a lot of you know, YG influence in the music that other people were coming out with, but with Draco, it's over. You know, and again, bro, the the Kendrick Lamar, they not like us. That's everybody says, yo, that's Draco flow. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, for for the right now greatest LA rapper to to be on this earth, to for rap. him to do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's you know, it's a little tip of the hat. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? And again, this is this is just from my personal experience, you know, looking at how everybody else is coming up to to even the big dogs out there that do have their whole weight. You know, they're in L.A. right now. You know, the wax, the, the, the you know, there's interviews on No Jumper about it. There's Vlad interviews about it. Like, you know what I mean? It's not just me. You could you could you could Google this shit. You know what I mean? And I feel like because of the because of the beef and because Draco was like on some like, wow, like King Vaughn shit. Yeah. In a sense, I don't want to. I don't want to compare, compare the two. two. No, but I'm but saying, as like, far as like the negativity behind yeah, each rapper, yeah, yeah, correct, they correct. don't shine. But like, think about it. Like Vaughn doesn't get the the, the love that he should get for the good for the for how good his music was. Like, Vaughn is like another Draco. Vaughn influenced a whole new generation of Chicago niggas to sound like that. True. You know what I mean? He's the most notorious Chicago rapper ever. And yeah. I said I use the word notorious. That's not the greatest or the most sell. You know, there's fan, no yeah, other Kanye yeah, West. Yeah. I'm just saying about Chicago, yeah, was, like besides Chief Keef, I was about to movement, say Chief was Vaughn that took nigga. that Chief Keef and put it to another level. Because Vaughn, like, bro, like even if you see that trap lore interview about like, you know, King Vaughn is a serial murderer, <laughs> like, you know, think about it, bro. If they ain't doing none of that shit on everybody else. Yeah. You know, his story was a fucking wild story. Yeah, you know nah, what I, mean? I know. I ain't gonna lie. King and again, Vaughn I'm not pushing really... the negativity. I'm just saying that just facts are facts, bro. Like, yeah. if you make music and yeah. you're in the booth, I don't care if you have a million dollar boat business or you got a, the cure for cancer outside. I'm just talking about this music. Yeah. And if your song makes everybody else want to rap like you, you got something fire in there. That's a fact. Because it's not it's not the same as name some rappers that that didn't die that that still have that effect. 
the other people want to rap like them? Yeah. Like that like just sound wise. Like they they like I could only name a few. I could only name a few. Like for me, I think of Wayne, the yeah, future. Sure. Like Oh, future for sure. Young Thug, yeah, for sure. Um, maybe Drake at times because Gucci the niggas man. like Gucci man. Gucci man for sure. Who I would say the Migos. The Migos, I give you. For Wait, sure. let's talk about Gucci. Who else was trying to rap like Gucci? Oh, I think a lot of people wanted to rap like Gucci at the time from Atlanta. Really? Yeah. Like, who, I, so who's a baby Gucci? Like, who who comes from that? Because I could. From that lineage? Yeah. Because I, I personally would have had said Gucci. That one, I don't know. Because I don't even say Jeezy's influential, but yeah, I think. Yeah, but Jeezy's totally different than a Gucci man, for sure. No, but I wouldn't even said that. Like, niggas. Niggas knew they couldn't rap like Jeezy, so they tried to do all the extra shit like Jeezy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sound wise, yeah, the yeah, ad libs, yeah. the this, the yeah. stretching shit nah, out. Nah, for sure. So, nah, I think Jeezy. But why Gucci? Because I think Gucci was, and again, not vocally, mm -hmm. but his style of mm. gang banging, being out there in LA, and I mean, in Atlanta, mm. you know, Zone 3, the way he was like, I think like a 21 is like a, a close. Okay. Laid back Gucci, like okay. not, again, not the voice, not, but like I can see that the way Gucci That's man rapped and his mixtapes birthed a, a twenty one. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Yes, and, and I'm not a big it, Gucci fan, but I can see that because yeah. I can see him being more fucking. Uh, um, he's definitely way more Gucci than Jeezy. For sure. So and, and sure. he's definitely not a. Young I, I put even little baby. Say what? Little baby. Is is under Gucci? No, I was not not yeah. under, but like that has that type of sound. Yeah, besides the the auto tune, like kicking shit, which you could attribute to Young Thug. Yes, I would say that it's a mix between Young Thug and Gucci Man. Okay, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's you know, dope. again, I'm going from local. Like he could he could probably come here and be like, "Fuck no," but like that's just what I hear. Like you know what I mean? I get and, it. And, and it's content wise, not the voice, not rapping style. I'm talking about the content of like. He was like the There's first dude that nigga. opened up the window of like trap house, like a trap. Yeah, like I'm in Atlanta with the with a What's with a dirty nigga? pit bull and the fucking grass and shit. What's that nigga that had the song featuring Twenty One that was popping last year? It was the summer. Um, you got little keyed and shit. Not and, little um, key. Um, it was a rap nigga, Young Something. Oh, they got like you know million. Man, I know, man, but it's one dog. <laughs> this nigga was yeah. super popping, and I know you know this nigga, bro. Um. He had the song with Dreamville that was got him popping, and then he had did that song with, um um bow bow. This oh um um yeah, bro um. And you know what I'm talking uh, about? It's on my fucking phone and shit, cause phone. yeah yeah he did the the bow yeah bow, bow. yeah yeah with with Twenty One. Yes, bro. Um. Oh, oh, bro. Shit, peaches God. and something. The song yeah, was called Peaches and Something. I know what you're talking about. So him, he sounds like he came from like that Gucci yeah, bar. For sure. I wish we could fucking remember your name so we could give you some yeah, fucking love. But bro. you know who you are, bro. Yeah. You got a hit, bro. You, you, like, you got one forever, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that yo, his music is fire. Yeah, he's well known in albums. Atlanta. Yeah. And we bro, can't guy, name his name for this. Damn, bro. <laughs> it's the goddamn, you know what I'm saying? The, the cannabis. Yeah, but yeah, yo, so God. for sure, doggy. Um I think this is a great pod, podcast, man. This is But yo, what, but what you think man. about like and before we go, like what do you think about the 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 comparisons between Nip and Draco? For me, I don't know enough about Draco and I know we, we've had this conversation. I was supposed to do my homework, so I sincerely apologize for No, we'll not. do it in another pod, but like but just right now I because I want to review honestly, this after you do your homework. Honestly, I don't have enough to know about Draco. To compare the two, so I don't think it's fair. Mm. So like, it's, right, so we'll hold off on that. So, for me, I'm a big Nip fan. Before he, before he died, when he was alive, before um, a lot of situation. The first time I heard of this nigga was Hustle in the House. I was like, he like a young Snoop. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. My favorite song in that era was like Killer featuring Drake, and he had like two other joints. Lawson Boy shit was fire. Long story short. I can't name two songs from Draco, but I've seen, I'm well aware of how he was somebody that was bubbling. That yeah, like, yeah. You want to be honest with you? I felt like he could have been a young Dolph for his area. Ah, uh, yeah, he definitely was. That's a fact. You get me? Before yeah. he died. He was yeah, the nigga the, that was the, like. The thing is, is that I, 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 everything you're saying makes a lot of sense because like you just said, I can't name two songs from Draco, but I feel like that's a lot of people. 
outside of California, like, it's very tough for somebody to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know his music. Like, you know what I mean? They will know way more Nipsey songs and projects than Draco. That's but you not know, even arguable. Cap, bro, I even say this. I knew a Miami artist named, shout out to Sylvan LeQ. He had a project maybe a year or two ago, probably even three years ago. And it had two songs featuring Draco the Ruler. Mm. And I did not know who this nigga was, bro. And I oh, promise shit. you, bro, I was like, I see this nigga popping, though. He's here. He's there. He's there. And then yeah. all of a sudden, I don't know Draco the Ruler, but I know Sylvan. And then now he got some feature. And I'm like, oh, you, you from Miami. You stayed in L.A. But, like, you know, it's not a legit feature, but it's like, damn. He's popping so much that you wanted to make it look like you had a feature. So he's obviously nigga doing something right because it's like wanting like a feature from a rapper that you don't really know, but it's influential. Like me asking for like a Nipsey feature before he passed, but not mm. really getting it. So I'm just like manipulating it. Yeah. So yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. he used the sample by him and made it seem like it was a feature. But the point is like this is a Miami nigga doing a project trying to feature an L.A. nigga that's obviously doing something in LA that's just not on my radar. So he's obviously, I see him, I'm just not like, it's like a young Dolph. Like, it took so much. It took, all right, OT Genesis, I heard you on that feature. Okay, I heard you, all right, beefing with Gotti. Okay, yeah. oh, 100 shot, all right. Like, I hate that it took this long for me to tap in and then they die. And yes, it's unfortunate because it's like, You'll yeah. put me up on Megatron or whatever this nigga is. Baby and I, Tron. Baby Tron. Oh, yeah, fire. And I still don't listen to these niggas, bro. Yeah, but it's not out of, like, fire. I don't neglect this shit on purpose. I just be, like, in my own rapper and shit. And then yeah, I'm, yeah, like, yeah. I hear one song, I like it, and I be mad as fuck that, oh, uh, 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 uh. You should have tapped in. Yeah, because it's not nah, hey, to that, that nigga, R. P. to um, YBC Duel Philadelphia. Um, Sad shit, what happened to Homeboy, bro? Um, He's another... Dude, um, that was nice, yeah, dark. bro. He was nice, um, and again, and it was like, uh, he was on some like wow King Vaughn shit, like you know what I mean. So, I'm not gonna say he was like lyrical miracle or anything like that, but I, we need to have I'm, a I'm podcast. A sucker for, I'm a sucker for raw raps, like, it course, I, I'm not into real. like, oh, if you're like the best lyricist, like, it doesn't always have to be Kendrick and J. Cole, but let me ask like, you, it's just a raw we, dude from the street telling the story. We need I to have a, it. we need to have and a Skrilla, like, you know what I mean? I think he's one of the, but he, a nigga that, 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 no, 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 you good. He, he a nigga that be feeding the bitches though, like, Skrilla, baby. No, 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 Skrilla is just Skrilla oh, from okay. Philadelphia, so, Kingsington. But this is what I'm saying, like, we need to have a podcast where we talk about, like, all right, oh, new rappers, nah, nah, fuck the new rappers, just like. How real is it worth it to be real when you rapping? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. That's a good pile right there. Because the truth is, like, we love that shit, but then, like, we boo-hoo when the nigga dies. Yeah, yeah like, how real is too real? That's how we, 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 we keep I, it like that. Yo, yeah, tap yo, in, Like, man. share, subscribe, tap in, finally and forever. Episode Certified. do strength. Like, you know what I mean? Bagata. Bah!